Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the third episode of Doreku the Animation. So, in the last episode, we were introduced to pretty much like most of our rest of our main characters. Seiya and Ayaka, who had a bit of a bit of an issue between the two of them. Seiya tried to screw her over and she kind of screwed him over back, making him her slave, which is the opposite of what Seiya was going for. Eventually he got freed, quote unquote, from Ayaka when he became when they both became Yui Yuga slaves and he was went to go off to find his girlfriend who apparently now belongs to somebody going by Ryuo. Uh, so yeah, we were introduced to Julia, Ayaka, and Seiya, who were all three like main characters, you can tell from the cover art. And I think that's almost everyone, so yeah, let's get into it and see what this episode entails. Three, two, one, play. Some quick recapping. Of course, only one of them actually had an SCM in their mouth, but. And say I also tricked her as best he could as a slave. Yeah, real nice guy, I'm sure. I, mean, I forgot about that. Yeah, the episode was straight up called abuse. But then, I mean, it was last season. You're far more shocked about that than I am. No hard feelings, okay? And yeah, he let go. Exactly. So I saw it coming a mile away. Can a slave have a slave? Temporarily, okay. Okay, that's what I figured. But again, he's already somebody else's slave, so how does that work? Does it just transfer over like that? And open in yet. Well, things went downhill for him quickly. You guys, somebody's taking your slave. Probably do something about that. Uh, but I mean, maybe Pryorum's happy just to see Julia at all, I guess, probably. I assume that's the Ryuo. <sighs> yeah, he's even close to Julia in the shot, so I'm not sure it is. I, I figure somebody would experiment with it. 
Yeesh. <laughs> I bet. And that's Julia, right? <laughs> yeah, she went downhill. Yeah, her life kind of went downhill after he broke up with her. You owe. You can't disobey. Yeah. Which means he has a new master. Yeah, that was a little bit weird. I'm glad we're addressing this. It's the latter. I'm sure he is. Yeah, he's thought of everything to deal with. Making sure he doesn't get his slave taken. <laughs> Declaration of War. Looks like we have our like a full on antagonist faction for them right now. Yeah, the master can't manipulate feelings, so he doesn't like his situation in the slightest. Maid Cafe? Steakhouse? Oh my god. Literally sparkling. <laughs> oh god, this woman. Going on full on Ojo Summer. The Princess Cafe, okay? <laughs> Is it? Dress is enormous. <laughs> uh. God. I should hope so. <laughs> I bet they do. <laughs> uh, there are people out there like that, so... That's a real form. Iba LED. What, you want to be my slave too? I think we can make that work. Oh my god! <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> okay then, um, go for it. Interesting. Yeah, she's a little bit weird. Even though they're extremely expensive. Hi, Joe. Well, why not? Adachi. <laughs> she was very much a Joe Samba like before, but... It may or may not be mine. <laughs> uh... 
Uh... <laughs> Trust me, even though you just met me. Somewhat similar to the Ayaka Seiya thing, but also quite different. <laughs> She's a keeper. Yes, I like I like the rationalization. Go for it. I mean, what to take wouldn't take much convincing for me. Yeah, I know it's a little bit weird, but just roll with it. Didn't hesitate very much at all, actually. <laughs> I would hate to put something like that in my mouth. Rock, paper, scissors. My god, isn't that that one guy? <laughs> I was pretending to be gay with Yuga. Oh, I was, I was expecting a kiss, so well. I mean, we might still get that. Wow. Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> My god. 500 yen. <laughs> Man, he's going for the big bucks already. He's got a point. He has realized that he's dealing with Gold Digger. <laughs> High quality teddy bear. I don't know why the uh, what was it saying? It's pretty good. <laughs> you guys just have a deal, lady. That's pretty good too. Of course, it's not a proper maid cafe otherwise. Moe and Moe Kyun? <laughs> hey, we're not ready for this. <coughs> I don't trust that dog. He probably has an SEM. He's gonna challenge you to a duel. She's a lot taller than she is. Man, he might bite you. Oh, he's friendly. Never mind. Zushio Maru. Very weird name. Aside from the Maru part, of course, that's pretty typical for dogs, but. Wow, he really does have an SEM in his mouth. Again, I was joking. I, how could he even challenge anyone to a duel? Or. I mean. It could just be using the dog for tracking other SEM users, but I don't know, a dog wouldn't be able to really communicate anything. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you would think you'd be able to hold your alcohol better than her, but who knows. Or did she... Huh. Apparently, uh... <laughs> Apparently he drugged the drink. <laughs> wow. What a scumbag.
Well, it's just the two of us and this wonderful lap pillow. So who won in the end? I admit I wasn't paying super bad attention to the score. <laughs> well, I'm sure the duel is still going on. <laughs> oh, a wig? What? Uh... That was unexpected. And I thought she was really cute, too. Like, I was actually about to comment that she was much cuter than Dachi, but, uh... <coughs> there goes that. I know, right? It's a very skillful trap, to be sure. And she lost. I'm a little bit upset that Yuri was alive, but I can make this work. Uh, this guy. Is he the one with the dog? <laughs> Seems quite friendly. And he'd be the reason why the SCM vibrated, of course. Huh. <sighs> <sighs> It's not gonna work, playing dumb. I doubt it's just gonna let you walk away. Ah. <sighs> well, do you know? <sighs> That's totally fair. <sighs> I was just thinking this episode wasn't dark enough, and here we go. <sighs> this guy. <sighs> it's your job to save her. If you're her, his, her slave, then now you're his. But he doesn't realize that's not the case. So he's probably going to have to pretend to be a slave, which shouldn't be too difficult. <sighs> you better do something to help her. You're pretty much the reason why she's in this situation. It's not super surprising. Why well, need to find help? Like Yuga and Aya, perhaps. You really should. Is that Julia? Yeah. Uh. 
I may or may not be trying to collect another slave for my master. And yeah, that's Ryuo. Most likely. Of course you do. Yeah, but that makes her the slave if you succeed. Triangle's a slave, circle's master. This looks like a trap. A dog. Challenge you a duel, clearly. The one and only. <laughs> Good job, Dougie. Next time, do his neck. Ah, oh, I mean, that works too, but ah. Uh. He just lost a duel, though, dog. <laughs> uh, karma. Gotta love it. But if he won. Like, the dog can't talk, so the guy must have issued the challenge. But, uh, either way, dog's at least got a couple of slaves now. But the dog couldn't really give orders, though. But it's something the dogs probably has a master that any of the dog slaves slaves would go to the dog's master, I would assume. I wouldn't expect that one guy to show up again in the story. Considering he's not even an SEM user. And there's the dog, too. Plan. E kaku dori. So that was the third episode of Doreku the Animation. And this episode, we obviously showed what happened between Seiya and Julia. Pretty much, he fell for her trap, became a slave to her, and by extension a slave to her master. And then we had that scene where they were all together in the room talking about the ex slave experimentation and everything. And I was a little bit confused about that scene. I thought maybe this was like, uh, because Seiya was there, I was confused. I was like, wait, shouldn't Seiya be with Julia's master? Why is he there? Does this take place before that scene with Julia in the timeline? But once Yuga asked him the question and he didn't answer, that's when it became obvious what was going on there. He was just there as a spy. And... But what had happened before had very much happened before. 
And Yuga is a smart guy, and of course Aya is as well, so they kind of figure that out pretty quickly. And aren't going to let any real information leak there. But hopefully they're able to save him in the end. Julia's master is clearly trying to extend his influence, to be sure. We were introduced to a couple new characters. Adachi and Nakano, I think, was the trap's name. And pretty much uh, Nakano was like, Hey, I want to be your slave. I'm kind of an M, I guess, but... Uh, and you're so great, so uh, yeah, that's what I want. And gave her an SEM to, to make that happen. Du because a couple guys came up to them, they ended up making the duel, who made the duel who can be the most successful gold digger, pretty much. And in the end, Nakano won. The problem happened when some dude, uh, a slave hunter, I guess you kind of call him, decided to come by and acquire a couple of new slaves. The only saving grace of Silver Lining about that was the fact that he mistook the, the master in this scenario because he's just an idiot on top of all of his other failures as a human being and allowed Nakano to escape. And I, I kind of assumed he would get help from Yuga's group, but he had to run in with Julia, so that's kind of the faction that's going to be helping out. But the dual agreement there was about saving Adachi, so I'm pretty sure that means that if they succeed in saving Adachi, Nakano's kind of got to be a slave, so it's kind of a, not an ideal scenario, but I guess he wanted to be a slave, so I guess not the worst thing. Before we end this off, I should probably mention the dog having an SCM is a little bit weird. I'm definitely interested in getting more about the about the story behind that, who exactly... Because I'm almost positive there's a master behind this dog, but, like, who would it be? I mean, like, I don't know. Uh, that'll be interesting to find out eventually. Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoki, the Dragon of Oshu, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon, and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.